my friends and welcome back to my channel. I am back with the new scenario, Family Fortune, and we're in Hemford on Bagley with the Langley family and this beautiful grass, which my camera jumps every time I go back in game. For some reason, I am experiencing quite a bit of a lag. I'm hoping that's temporary and it kind of like works itself out. Uh, so Grandma Nissa is just lying down and having a little bit of a nap here at the moment. Uh, she's She's been having a bit of a tough time of it because she's been trying to get married to uh what's her name now i've forgotten her name uh judith ward <laughs> um who's a god who she has bad compatibility with but uh she's after her money basically she's after her own inheritance which requires her to get married to somebody which is not part of this scenario it's just something that randomly occurred in the game uh what was this lila's off to work we've got ava is already at work and uh eddie how are you doing sir uh do you i'm sorry my mouse is so squeaky this always happens when my kids have, have uh, been on my pc um you are playing video games you don't have to go to work today uh you're all good so i guess uh oh hang on is this oh you do have to work, go to work okay stop playing computer games and go to work please sir uh so nissa how are you actually doing i really want to marry judith ward i just what is going on with this place why is it so disgusting and stinky what is happening here um, I think somebody needs to kind of do some laundry. I'm gonna get grandma up and get her doing some laundry because it's really quite filthy. Um, do laundry. Oh, hang on, what is going on? Right, we've got the wash tub outside. The wash tub uh, seems to have really dirty water in it. Um, un unload and move to the clothesline. I feel like it's probably dirty though. I'm not sure. Um, Oh, I've got this like furry room as well that I kind of need someone to pick up. I kind of want Eddie to pick it up. Right, Grandma, come on. Let's try and get this house a little bit cleaner before the kids come home. Uh, early midlife crisis. Oh, no. Life seems to be... Oh, my God. Poor Eddie. Poor Eddie. He's had to leave the house. He's had to leave his computer. And he's having a midlife crisis over it. Life seems to be passing Eddie by these days. It's the same thing every day in and day out with nothing to really show for it. It might be time for a change. Oh, Eddie, honey, really? What's going on for you here? What does he... Um, okay, so he's not actually got a full-blown midlife crisis yet. It's, it's on its way. He's just getting a little bit bored, a little bit dissatisfied, but he's not actually having an, a midlife crisis just yet um ava's phone's ringing what is this gabrielle verona hey ava uh no i don't think that's a good idea i have someone else in mind for you gabby that's one of my own sims this we're actually in my own personal save so uh why is it not telling me what the laundry's like i don't know right let's tip this dirty water out i bet that laundry's still really dirty um Tip the laundry out, please. Refill the water. Beautiful. And uh, let's do some more laundry because <laughs> I feel like maybe we need to buy a washer dryer. Uh, do laundry. Uh, do you know what we should do? We should search the pockets first. Do laundry. Wash in wash tub. Hopefully. Oh, actually, can we do laundry? Wash in wash tub. And then I can like drag these into <laughs> the basket. Uh, I think the basket's probably full at the moment. Oh my God, there's just laundry everywhere. Oh my goodness, this house. Lila knew it wasn't a great idea to start her comedy set so late. The crowd is getting rowdy and she's losing control fast. She can either yell to get their attention or give it up and shut it down. Um, I think she'd yell at them. She's kind of young. She's kind of impetuous. Uh, she's proper as well though, I think. Did we make her proper? Phew, that did it. The crowd snaps to attention and even laughs, inspiring Lila to deliver one of her best performances yet. Well done, Lila. Did we get some money? Oh my goodness, she's embarrassed because she got rejected by Judith Ward. I mean, that is quite embarrassing. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Um, okay, she's got a little bit of money from that. We've got, we're halfway there almost. We, we need 10,000, we've almost got 5,000. So um, adding up there a little bit. So she's picking all this up, good. She's having a little bit of a tidy as she goes. Um, hurry up and do that and then you can have a pee. 
a potentially awkward conversation. So none of this is the scenario, the midlife crisis and these little pop-ups that you've seen so far. This is just part of the, uh, the normal game if you've got all the packs installed. Uh, Eddie sees that the next customer in the chat queue is an old flame of his and things didn't exactly end prettily. The other agents are tied up. Should he respond to the chat request or pretend not to notice? Uh, you know, maybe you've got an opportunity to work things out. I think begin the chat. Luckily for Eddie, the relationship wasn't as memorable as he thought, or at least the flame doesn't acknowledge his name or chat picture. Eddie meets this customer service need and avoids an awkward confrontation. Well done, Eddie, for just doing your job, for sucking it up and doing your job. Why haven't you cleaned anything? Oh my goodness, she's tired, she's napping. Well, at least she picked some of the laundry up. I don't know what she's actually done with it. Um, it's not on the roof. I don't know why it just went up a level. We also need someone to hoover. It's getting really filthy around here. <laughs> Do I, sh should I hire a maid? Maybe I need to hire a maid. We have got the farm hands who will come and tidy, of which Judith Ward is one. So maybe we can, uh, maybe we can have another go at asking her to marry us. Um, open sim profile. Dejected about rejection. I think we can suck it up and still get married. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. If she tidies our house well, we'll offer, we'll propose to her again. Like, why wouldn't she want to live here in this farmhouse? Do you know what? I think it's a nice, wholesome change from the Hollywood Hills, from the Simi Wood Hills, I should say. Look at her walking through like she owns the place. Oh, ah, camera angles. Like Judith Ward, you are a legend. We we adore you. Uh, Arnessa Thieb, oh, that was our other potential wife? Hey, I just heard you became friends with Judith Ward. Uh, she, uh, she wasn't interested in our romantic advances, unfortunately, so uh, that didn't work out. Um, so you've been to the toilet. Uh, you're happy, you're in a good mood. Do you know what? Oh, Brent Hecking wants to purchase Cottagecore on Trendy. Yay! That's going to be worth a little bit of money because Ava is absolutely hustling with Trendy. Thank goodness for Trendy because it's been a lifesaver with this challenge. Uh, she is definitely going to get a decent amount of money from the uh, inheritance, I think. Um, let's talk about marriage. <laughs> Why not? She's really tired, but I'm just oh. pushing through. Oh. I'm persevering. Okay. Listen, if everybody else has to go to work, so do you. And this is, this counts as work apparently right now. Okay, Judith, honey, darling, sweetie darling, you look fabulous, honey. Um, get down here and, and make this woman marry you. Is there anywhere like romantic? Oh, she's got terrible energy. I was thinking, is there anywhere romantic we could take her? Um, I'm just gonna keep spamming it. Recite love poetry. Oh no, Gertrude, Gertrude, Gertrude will leave soon if she's not taken care of better. I'm sorry, Gertrude, we are bad owners. The farm hands are doing their best, but they're not good. We need the ranch expansion pack. Uh, tend my animals, please. You're the animal man. Creature keeper, go and keep my creatures. Um, okay, sexy pose. Uh, propose. We'll try. We'll just go in again. We'll just try again. It's, she said we didn't have a high enough friendship last time, but you never know. <laughs> this is going to be another awkward rejection. She's proposing. <gasps> this looks like a yes. Yay! Inheritance time. Okay, so we might have done that part of the challenge now, if it counts. Oh no, they have to actually get married as well. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Patchy, do you know what? We don't deserve you. You're too good for this world. Like, thank you so much for helping us out, sir. Um, okay, they are engaged. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go to sleep, and I will see you. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, and we'll get married. <laughs> So we've actually done really well. The only thing we've not done is burn fifty thousand pounds of in inheritance, which we don't actually have. <laughs> Um, so I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to do that interaction. I'm just gonna fast forward now until either she's full of energy or one of the kids get home. So let's just sit here and twiddle our thumbs for a few minutes, I guess. Um, let's actually have a look and see if anyone is gonna clean out this cow. The thing is, it doesn't actually come out of the shed properly. I can vacuum it. I can vacuum the shed. I love bust the dust. It's so funny. The things that you can vacuum. Okay. Oh, Ava is home. She brought some money. She, oh, and Lila got promoted. Amazing. Great job, Lila. So what does that say? 
as she's promoted to open mic seeker, which if we look here, um, entertainer, Lila was born to perform, it's written in the stars. Of course, with the stars as her only reference, open mics are Lila's only viable path to discovery and fame. The hardest part is suffering all these amateurs who can only book open mics, <laughs> like herself. So she's get kind of a little bit kind of like judgy of others. Uh, she's also super tired. I guess she's gonna have to go and have a nap. Uh, Ava, how are you doing? Also super tired and needs to sleep. Well, this is gonna be a really, really fun episode, isn't it? Uh, fast forward, please, everybody sort yourselves out. Actually, no, before you nap, we have that thing to sell on, uh, on Trendy. So come over here, please. Let's make this money, because that is the point of this, uh, what we're trying to do here. Ship to buyer 600. Uh, simoleons so it's only making a small dent oh do you know what actually because of that promotion we're doing really well we're getting very close if we could sell something else on trendy i think we might have done it no last exceptions no why ship to buyer do it do the thing the pressure is on oh 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 another one's gone okay it didn't work try again why isn't it working why isn't it working that one worked. How much did we sell that for? Wow. Oh, what? No, Nissa, you were meant to get married. The sad music and everything. Oh, no. Right, before you die, honey, can I just get your hoover? Thank you. And like maybe some of these pictures because I just... I just feel like, I just feel like, you know, we need to remember you with this artwork that we still need to sell. And I'm just, can I kind of like clear out your inventory before you actually die? Oh my God, this is the thing about scenarios. And this is kind of what I was wanting. The more kind of like situational based, that is a lot more like life stories, the random surprises. Like this is exactly what I wanted from scenarios. Cause I don't normally play this way. So this is like, feels really like, Oh, I don't know. I love it. I love the kind of situational based kind of like surprise. This is happening now aspect of scenarios. Um, I am a, a sandbox player, but the idea of kind of like having uh, scenarios as an option is so much fun. Um, and I think some people do prefer kind of like game led situations. Okay, right. Okay. So we'll have a look at the new things in a second. Oof. Oh my goodness. I feel Lila get get up. I feel like you're gonna Oh, look at her just dying like on the she's just lying down and accepting a fate alas my time is drawing short hang on i need to do it in, in character alas my time is drawing short when you've lived as long as i have you can feel it coming don't mourn me i am going home to be with your grandfather and i will be watching from above my one regret in life is that i never pushed you three to your full potential we have spoiled you, and this is more than this is more my fault than yours. But you have proven that you do have some strength of character and merit, and that you can and that you can, with proper motivation, make something of yourselves. I have done my best to reward each of you with what I think you deserve. Okay, interesting. Uh, no. I'm sorry this happened to you, Nizza. I'm so sorry. Let's try and get a picture of her, which seems a little bit grim, but uh. We're about to meet Graham, so it's it's in character. Like, oh my goodness, you poor... Oh no, oh, she just like a proper flump there as well. My Sims don't die, I love a watch. My Sims don't die in my game. Witnessing a death for me is quite a traumatic experience in The Sims because I never ever see it. Can I like plead for her? Where's the Grim Reaper? How do I plead? Oh, look at her, she's like mourning her. Oh no, oh, this game, oh my goodness, it's too much for me, guys. It is too much for me, I can't. I can't with this scenario right now. She says with a smile on her face. Oh, she's, well, at least she's sad she died. At least she's not like, yay, grandma died in money. <laughs> okay, so, oh, this is so sad. Grim, where's Grim? Mourn grandmother. Release your feelings for your departed grandmother by mourning. This can be done by selecting her urn. Read inheritance letter from siblings' inventory to see what they have and what they have not been given. Engrave grandmother's urn. And that ends the scenario. 
Um, optional, Ooh. strengthen grandmother's connection to the physical world, Ooh. release grandmother's spirit, Ooh. donate inheritance to charity, Ooh. have siblings become best friends. <laughs> Interesting. So we don't want to engrave the urn yet. I feel like that's a bit too soon. I'm so sad that she didn't get married um, to Judith Wood. We would have had so much more money. <laughs> Is anyone else going to come and mourn, Grandmother? No. Uh, he's just like cooking. Oh, Lila's the only one that's mourning her right now. I, oh, why is there a fire? There's a fire as well. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is she scared of fire now? Fires can be a vital source of heat or a calming warmth on a cold night. Lila saw firsthand the more destructive side of fire. Lila never wants to see that again. Poor Lila is absolutely traumatized by this whole experience. Like, I feel so bad for her. Like, genuinely, it was the one that cared. Eddie discovered the fire. Uh, Ava's up. She's going to help. I feel like Ava is rescue sim. So, let's extinguish the fire. Don't just stand there dancing and looking at it, otherwise you're going to be draining your grandmother. Oh my goodness. What is this scenario, guys? Like, oh my goodness, the absolute chaos. I don't know, I don't know. Right, okay. <laughs> I wonder what they've all got. Never ever cook again, sir. At least we've got the money to replace this now. Now I'm in control of grandma's inheritance. Me, Ava Landry, land, land owner. Oh, Grim's there. What are you doing, Grim? Unlock. Oh, maybe that's why nobody's sorting out the thing because the gate was locked. One does not plead with death before the reaping, lest you be reaped. Are you okay, Dad? Are you just uh, hanging out here by the bees? Like, he's just like, I'm just chilling, you know, chilling with the bees. I thought this was going to be how she went, but uh, um, apparently not. Apparently fate had some other plans for her. <laughs> why was the gate locked? Like, that does explain why nobody could look after the, uh, the animals very well. Um... Eddie, I think maybe you need to get out here and clean the shed. Oh my goodness, does this mean farmhands is no more? I mean, <laughs> they're still here at the moment. Uh, Grim, are you, uh, are you, are you, are you okay there? <laughs> uh, I guess we just hang around and, 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 and wait. <laughs> Do we need to unlock some more doors? Like, why doesn't he just teleport? I would have thought the Grim Reaper would be able to teleport. That door's not locked. That one door's not locked. That door's not locked. Grim, uh, do you want to, like, do your job, mate? I feel like I probably shouldn't reset him. We run into a problem. I'm sad that I can't do any other interactions with him as well. Like I can't woohoo him and stuff. Uh, okay, well I guess go go and have a nap. Uh, cry it out, I guess. She's like genuinely upset. Um, you're cleaning the animal shed. You also need to refill feed. Uh, call Gertrude out and we'll give her a bit of a clean because I don't want the animals to be sad. You're having a sleep. Grandma's having an eternal sleep. Um, is Grim still there? What am I gonna do? Do I reset him? If I broke the scenario, what do I do, guys? I'm just gonna wait it out because I assume he's eventually gonna. He's eventually gonna do it, I guess, maybe, perhaps. Are the paintings still for sale? Oh, are they gonna go up in price because. because she died? Oh, she can sell that as well. <laughs> Grim, do I have to reset him? Grim, do your reaping, sir. Sir, he's put his reaping stick away, so. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> Not the bees! Oh my goodness, Grim, he stood there for too long. Why? Oh, that doesn't that look actually kind of terrifying though, as, a, as an image? Like the Grim Reaper being tormented by bees. 
Are you gonna are you gonna do your job or have we have I broke the game again? <laughs> oh he's up he's moving he's he's doing something he's on the move Okay resetting him might have been the answer we will see I'm kinda nervous Oh Florence Taylor's weeping for her at least are you cooking again oh no you're calling over gertrude okay right he seems to be going in the right direction at least he's judging us for our cleanliness <laughs> he's like mm, yeah well she didn't die of dust inhalation clearly this house is spick and span can i come and plead come here go here is this the will grandmother's will <laughs> <laughs> oh okay we're missing the important bit but i just want to make sure the cow's okay <laughs> i'm sorry guys this is bad timing on me oh it looks like the, the creature keeper's coming out and, and cleaning him but i'm just gonna get him to do it anyway right let's go back up and watch like this happen and they're like i never see death in the game and then i just completely ignore the fact that he's here no no grandma no why I want to, I want to plead for her. Okay, well, at least, listen, I'm in a rock band and I want to introduce myself to you. Can I say hi? It's not letting me plead. Maybe it's been, uh, maybe I'm not allowed to do it because it'd like break the scenario. She's just on her phone. Can probably complain about problems. Uh, I wouldn't do that with the Grim Reaper because you don't know what action he'll take if he, if he likes you and you complain about your problems he might be like he might be like Joe from you he'll be like I can solve this problem for you just point me in the direction of future reap ask for advice okay enthuse about new albums discuss favorite band oh my goodness future boyfriend potential these two are absolutely hitting it off. Have you seen my Growing Together Let's Play? If you haven't, go and check it out. We've got an um, infant Grim Reaper and he is adorable. He is so, so sweet. And he's about guitar solo. Um, she's suddenly like super happy. Okay, well that happened. Um, let's get everybody to bed and tomorrow morning we'll kind of like look at the will and see uh, see what grandma left us all We'll all gather we'll gather to read the will um, So it goes to the toilet and sleep Ava is one step ahead of him. She's already sleeping We're gonna have to politely ask the Grim Reaper to leave her. Oh, no, you can go back to bed You go and sleep where the Grim Reaper was just sitting. What could possibly go wrong? I'm sure he hasn't tainted your bed um, I think maybe I'll put this up here. Beautiful. Next to the flowers. How absolutely gorgeous. Um, some of the trendy listings have expired, but let's not worry too much about that. Uh, and let's just go ahead and fast forward. Oh, he's having a midlife crisis now. Okay. So midlife crisis. He needs to, let's just expand this, hunt for treasure, woohoo in whiskey, risky places, not whiskey places, like uh perform five camping activities collect 10 critters oh my goodness okay so we do have a mission to do i need to just go for a second and just need to pause and uh do a little mission and i'll be back with you in a second okay i'm back <laughs> let's keep going with this very grim episode uh okay Good how job. are you doing you're very very sad why are you sad though because you've had a loss in the family it's hard to see those closest to us pass away eddie can still find some solace by mourning at a tombstone or an urn um okie dokie well we will do that in the morning but right now i do feel like you need to all just just sleep okay so let's get to the morning we'll get everybody up we'll get everybody breakfast we'll get the to the toilet and all that good stuff um yep you head to the toilet are you going to this one it's probably the most practical uh lila do you also need the toilet you do and you are also going to the most practical toilet perfect uh, i'm just gonna 
do that so it doesn't cancel out when I get her to cook. Oh no, look at this. <laughs> uh, replace that, please. Um, okay, so we will, uh, can we serve breakfast? It doesn't look like serve breakfast is an option. Do we not have enough food to serve breakfast? Right, I'm just going to cook something then. I'm going to go ahead and cook. Um... Uh, <laughs> we don't have much. Uh, what can I make? <laughs> Aubergine Parmesan? I can't even make like a family serving of that. I don't have enough food. Um, mushroom soup. Oh, here we go. We're going to have a family sized mushroom soup to celebrate grandma's passing. Or celebrate? Celebrate her life, not her passing. Um, okay. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I play with aging off. I, I'm very cautious with what my sims are doing. They very, very, very rarely ever die. I've probably had maybe three, five deaths in the game that, in my own personal save that have occurred kind of throughout my entire Sims 4 playing. I avoid death like nobody's business in the game. Uh, I have had death a few times with kind of like um youtube videos because it's been like a scenario type thing that i've been doing but personally in my off camera say yeah no grim reaper stay back <laughs> um i do play very very slowly though very slowly like it's rare that my sims age up so i kind of need even but even though like even the sims that are meant to have died like even they're alive <laughs> because i'm too soft i'm too like nice to kind of like kill them all off uh, okay, everybody come and get some food, please. Ava, come and get some food. Uh, I'm sorry, mate. Time to get up and get some breakfast. We have some important will reading to do. Have siblings become best friends? I don't know if that's going to happen, to be honest. Oh. I can't see that happening for them. But uh, they can all mourn grandmother. And uh, we can read inheritance, inheritance yeah, letter yeah. and everything like that. So that's the plan of action. We'll have something to eat. We'll have breakfast. We'll have a little bit of a chat. Ask for advice. Um, what else as well? Tour of Quink. Who's uh, Bright and Day. Oh, leave our... Oh, Naba Quink. Uh, discuss sad mood. Oh, she has empathy for her brother. We love to see it. Um... Soul about death. That's quite sweet. Uh, she has to get up to do that one though. Oh, oh he's like crying. Oh, Ava looks really sad. Oh, look at them all. Like, actually, do you know what? It's actually quite sweet that they're all kind of like sad. Oh. Sadly eats his porridge. <laughs> okay. What else have we got? Oh, it's Harvest Fest. Oh. We, we are thankful for our grandmother's life. All right. You're up first, Lila. Let's get you upstairs and get you to mourn. Everybody come and mourn. Um, mourn Nissa. Leave a sugar skull, offer skull offering. You as well, come on, no escaping to your computer, no playing The Sims and avoiding this. Come and uh, mourn Nissa, leave Sugar Skull offering. And you, no, 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 don't go back to bed. Come on, mourn Nissa, leave Sugar Skill Skull offering. And then I think what I want to do, um, see, we have these two options, uh, re release grandmother's spirit and strengthen grandmother's connection to the physical world. Now, I know she'll stick around as a ghost if we strengthen a connection to the physical world, but I like that she said like she wants to go and be with the grandfather. So I actually think I'm gonna release her spirit in this case. Um, I do kind of like the idea of her staying around as a ghost and kind of like haunting them. So what do we have to do? We have to just kind of like get over it, I guess. Two days. I don't know how to make this trigger. Oh, it's so sad. They're all like stood around crying. Okay, uh, release spirit to the netherworld. Zimze, Bulane. 
They're saying they can't leave Sugar Skull offerings, apparently. Uh, oh, you can. Lila is definitely the most loving, I feel. What? Who's, like, had the best oh, relationship boom. with her? I don't know. Release spirit. Uh, releasing Nissa's soul to the netherworld will for forever free her spirit from this mortal realm. Are you sure you want to do this? No. Oh, that's ticked off. Mourn grandmother. Um, I kind of... Yes. Because I want her to be with granddad. Success. Myla's gesture of respect was appreciated. The ancestors have heard her call and sent a Day of the Dead celebrator to roam the neighbourhood. Creepy. Uh, right, we don't want to engrave the epitaph yet because that'll in, like end the scenario. So let's get everybody to gather back round the table. So everybody gather around the table. Sit. Sit. Sit, please. It's like all stormy and gross outside as well. It's like gloomy weather. It matches. It matches the mood, I feel. Okay, so let's go... Eldest uh -huh. child to youngest child. So Ava, what do you have of grandmother? Let's see. I mean, all her stuff that you kind of like stole, but read grandmother's will. Oh, milestone complete. Ava has completed. Oh, and she's done her aspiration. Oh, she's got so much money. Whoa. Okay. Uh, dear, dear Ava Landry, it is with great pleasure that I bequeath to you the sum of 120,281 simoleons. Your grandfather and I worked tirelessly for many years to amass this wealth, and it gives me great comfort to know that it will be put to good use. Despite the occasional disagreements and moments of tension I have witnessed, I have witnessed your capacity for kindness, determination, and hard work. I am proud of the person you have become, Ava, and I trust that you will use this money to continue to uh, continue to contribute continue to contribute positively to our family and society as a whole. With love and best wishes, Grandmother. Okay, amazing. Thanks, Grandma. We love to see it amazing okay so Ava should be pretty happy about that uh, is that in the game see I don't I, I actually don't know if that's normal gameplay or not because I don't uh, I don't have sims die so I don't know if there's any gameplay normally around like wills but I like that so if that's set like scenario based and not normal gameplay I would love more in terms of like you know, what happens after Sims die, inheritance, all that kind of good stuff. I think that's a, a really cool little feature. Um, okay, so middle child, Eddie. Eddie is going through a midlife crisis. He's going through a lot. So he's just gone off into the kitchen to read his will. He doesn't want to read it in front of everybody. He's, he's kind of feeling a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. So Eddie, you've got Dear Eddie Landry, I live, you know, he's got a lot less. Dear Eddie Landry, I leave to you the sum of 29,000 simoleons, 578, I can't do numbers. Dear Eddie Landry, I leave to you the sum of 29,578 simoleons as a reminder of the hard work and dedication that your grandfather and I put into am amassing our wealth. However, I have concerns that if I left too much to you and your siblings, it may only serve to encourage your reckless behavior. This small sum is meant to help you stay afloat, but it is also a reminder that you must take responsibility for your own success. I implore you to cherish your siblings and work together to establish a legacy of your own. Don't rely solely on the wealth that has been left to you, but use it wisely and in a way that benefits both yourself and your family. It is time to grow up and prove yourself as a responsible and productive member of society. With cautious optimism for your future, grandmother. Wow. Okay, so poor Eddie. Oh, he's like, he's proper having a midlife crisis as well. <laughs> like, I really kind of want to continue playing with Eddie, to be honest. He's got quite a lot going on for him. Let's have a look at Lila. So Ava's left. She's like, I'm going to invest in my money. Eddie left and Ava, I guess, is left to read her will on her own. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, 
get a close up of her face while we do it, I think. Like, oh, that did not work. <laughs> okay, like that. Okay. Um, dear Lila Landry, I leave to you the sum of 25. 1,902 simoleons as a reminder of the hard work and dedication that your grandfather and I put into amassing our wealth. Uh, so it says the same as Eddie. Um, yeah, I think that's exactly the same as Eddie's. Uh, so, okay, so she didn't do as well, apparently, and uh, didn't get as much money of grandmother. Well, we know who the favourite child was, right? I mean, Ava is more of a business orientated sim. She did make quite a lot of money through Trendy. So I guess she, I guess she won. Um, okay. I mean, we've still got like the house. We could sell a house and divide that all between them and things like that as well. Um, but yeah, Ava is definitely the most entrepreneurial out of all of them. She literally has the entrepreneur skill. So... I don't know, and maybe Ava's gonna kick the other two out the house and they're gonna have to kind of like make do with what they have. Um, okay, so we are not donating the inheritance to charity. I don't think any of them would do that. Um, they're not gonna become best friends after that. Um, I think it's time to uh, engrave grandmother's urn. Lila's gonna do it. Uh, can I keep reading this? Is If I read it again, will I get more? Oh no, I thought I might be able to hack it and keep getting money. Okay, let's engrave epitaph. epitaph. Um, what would be suitable? Uh, you can't take it with you. <laughs> there we go. That seems like it's suitable, right? That should be fine. Just as a reminder. So scenario complete. The Landry family has received the following rewards for completing the family fortune scenario. We didn't get a bonus. The three, I guess that's because we didn't make them make friends. Uh, you can go and watch out um, other creators, uh, other um, members of the creator network, other simmers, uh, and go and see kind of if they got a different outcome. I probably, I wouldn't mind doing this again. I'll probably do it off camera, um, but this was quite fun to do. I'd be quite curious to see like some of the other outcomes that I could get. Uh, like if I made them all make friends or if I made them all really be enemies, uh, that'd be interesting. The three squabbling siblings did it whether by being great actors or by undergoing a personality change. You, I mean, they literally did. Some of them got personality trait changes. Um, your Sims managed to prove their grandmother that they deserve to be a part of the family and receive a part of the family fortune. Next steps. Will you honor your grandmother's legacy by continuing to build the family foot towards greatness or slide back into all ways courtesy of your newfound wealth? The choice is yours. Uh, I want to continue playing actually. I think what you want to do is I definitely want to have Eddie. Would Eddie move out? <laughs> Or would he just try and... I don't know. I think... Do you know what? Eddie's poor little world has been absolutely rocked. I feel like... Sorry, my foot's just moving on the chair if you can hear that. I feel like Eddie is having a midlife crisis. He's realising now that he can't keep coasting, that he has to build his own business. He has to make a career he has to fend for himself and i think he's very very scared at the moment he literally has this fear here what's this scared of thunderstorms so eddie is kind of in panic mode survival mode i don't know how well he's coping right now so i think he might actually just kind of like lock himself away in his room to process and i think maybe do you know what luck for everyone but eddie he this is what he's gonna do he's gonna lock himself away in here he's gonna have his own little mini fridge and everything or get takeouts delivered he is just gonna live in his little granny flat now and uh try and work through his midlife crisis and he's gonna also quit his job which i know seems like a really controversial choice right but he's just going through so, so, so much he just can't he just i'm not even in the career right now <laughs> where's the career one that one um like he's just so overwhelmed like he needs some time he just needs some time he's got a little bit of money that he can kind of like coast on and 
make do with. It'll pay for his takeouts for a while. Do you know he's here? Like his sister's probably want, gonna want him to contribute. What are you doing in here, Avery? Lock that door. Um, yes, quit your job. And I'm gonna have him lock himself away in his room, get over the death of his grandma, and I'm gonna have him kind of like do his own tech stuff. So I might even get him like the robotics kit or something like that. He might st start up his own like rob robotics business. Um, he's definitely gonna kind of like do his own little startup, startup entrepreneur stuff. You need to get out of here. You're not meant to be in this room. This is, room is not for you anymore. Eddie's like, do you know what? This is my inheritance. This lot here, this is my property now. <laughs> I don't know who's actually technically got the property. Okay, you need to, could you please, listen, Ava, go here, teleport here. There we go, and then go inside here. Um, Ava is seizing control of the entire farm. She's like, this is my house now. Like, sure, my brother can live in that little outhouse there. And I, do you know what? She used to have this little room out here. But I think she's going to say, do you know what now? What just happened? Do you see that lightning? Now she's going to be like, do you know what, Nissa? If you want to stay, you can stay. But you need to go into, like, this room. This is now going to be, like, Nissa's little house. So let's um, look for everyone but Nissa. Like, sorry, Lila. Everyone but Lila. We'll leave that open. This can be Lila and... Um, hang on. Lila. Li everyone but Lila. And then grant access to Eddie. Allow access to Eddie. So Eddie and Nissa have kind of claimed this little section of the lot. And they're going to kind of run their little businesses out of here. So Eddie's gonna come in here and kind of like build with robots. We'll sell the flower arranging stuff. Um, let's move this upstairs. Uh, so she's gonna commandeer this room. This is now gonna be her kind of like, um, what's it room? Can I fit that there? I'm just gonna Oh, move objects. Can't spell. Oh. Yeah. So she's like commandeered this room now. She's like, this is my room. Um, everything in it. The whole house is my room now. I'm sorry, Lila. Uh, this is my trendy room. <laughs> so Lila is going to have to get out of the house. She's also going to have to like get a mini fridge or something. Um... Oh, that is creepy. That is some creepy ass bullshit there. Go here. Just go there normally. I don't know why I'm teleporting everybody. And then we're gonna lock the doors. Okay, so lock this door. Lock for, oh, I saw it. Lock for everyone but Ava. She's literally like mean big sister. She got what she wanted. It was, an, it was an act for Ava all along. She didn't really care about her siblings. She just wanted to win the money. And once she won the money, she was like, haha, this is my house. You're not allowed in here. What are you doing, Lila? <laughs> Why are the door locks not working? Get out. Get out of Ava's house. It's Ava's house now. You don't, you don't get to stay here. <laughs> okay, perfect. Right. But that does mean she's going to have to cook for herself and clean the house herself. So I don't know how that's going to go for her. <laughs> um, I am going to leave it there. I am actually going to do one more episode on this. We'll kind of like get them started. We'll see how it goes. I think it's quite interesting to see how the scenario continues. So I'm going to leave it there for today. Do stick around and uh, check out my final video of like how they're all getting along. I will see you again soon. Bye friends.